We have a heavy object suspended by a string, 78 centimeters long. As the object swings back and forth, the string remains straight. We are given that at either end of the swing, the object is 6 cm higher than at its lowest elevation. And we have to calculate the horizontal distance between the two ends and the angle at which it swings. So for exercises with only text, it can be very helpful to graphically represent the problem first. So let's draw an object hanging by a string of 78 cm long from the ceiling. Instead of sitting still, the object swings sideways like a pendulum. For this exercise, we only need to be concerned about the two ends of the swinging motion. So this is the geometry we are dealing with. It is some triangle stacked on top of a rectangle. Since the string remains straight, the two sides of the triangle are both 78 cm long. And we are given that the vertical distance between its lowest spot and the highest spot is 6 cm. For easiness of reference, let's name a few points on this diagram. And now we are ready to solve this problem. First, we need to calculate the horizontal distance from one end to the other. This distance is represented by BD in our diagram, which also equals BC plus CD because the swing motion is symmetrical about the center. This also means that BD is also equal to 2 times BC. So to find BC, we can make use of the trigonometric functions. There is enough information to determine the cosine of the angle BAC, which is AC over AB. Since we know that the width of the rectangle is 6, and the vertical distance from A all the way to the bottom of the rectangle is 78. AC will simply be 78 minus 6, and AB is 78. This gives cosine of BAC equals 12 over 13. And to determine BC, we can use sine of BAC. And if you recall, the square of sine plus the square of cosine equals 1, which means the square root of 1 minus cosine BAC squared will give us sine of BAC. So doing so, we find out that sine BAC equals 5 over 13. And at the same time, sine BAC is also BC over AB. Since AB equals 78, we get BC equals 30. And finally, BD will simply be 60, because it's twice as long as BC. And for the next part of the exercise, we need to determine the angle of swing, which is basically represented by the angle of BAD. Once again, due to symmetry, BAD is twice as big as BAC. And we have already obtained cosine of BAC earlier. So BAD will simply be 2 times the inverse cosine of BAC, which is roughly 0.79 radian. Sometimes the question may ask for angles in degrees. In that case, you can convert radian to degree by the factor of 360 over 2 pi, which means 0.79 radian is roughly 45 degrees. This concludes the exercise.